Think about all the things that use energy in your home. Lights, heating and air conditioning, refrigerators, microwaves. You can probably name several more. But what about these? It's true that smartphones, tablets, and laptops require energy to charge the batteries. But did you know that watching YouTube videos, sending Snapchats, and uploading things to the cloud require much more energy? When you email a photo from your smartphone to your friends, it seems like the photo magically moves through the air in no time at all. But in reality, the photo is broken apart into smaller data packets and transported, both as radio waves through the air and through complex networks of above ground, underground, and even undersea cables. And the movement of these data packets, or mobile data traffic, relies on data centers. Warehouses full of all sorts of computer systems that store, process, and distribute data as well as other infrastructure that the data might have to pass through on its journey. In 2013, data centers in the U.S. used as much energy as 34 coal power plants produce in a year. And if we don't reduce our data usage, this energy consumption could increase by almost 70% by the year 2020. Much of the energy that data centers consume is for their air conditioning units that keep their computers and servers cool. But some companies are thinking outside the box, quite literally. Organizations are trying to find efficient ways to power their data centers, such as using outside air from colder climates to cool their equipment naturally rather than using energy-intensive air conditioning. Data centers are just one part of the complex network involved in mobile data traffic, and this network requires energy every second of every day. The good news is that communications and data network companies are putting their heads together to innovate and make this process more energy efficient. Some say it could be 1,000 times more efficient than it is today. Now that's something to tweet about. <laughs>